Samara Rune Susani, the Lala Egonara Kunmuda de Hai Agonara Amen. Amen Amen I sit you I tell you I am the Tragramaton Higara Nia the Tusokula Egara. Dun Hai 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 Hula Zingara. Budhan Hai Ha Gunara Tunhurai. Soon Hari Allah Hai Hula. Gunhurai then Hai Agonoro. Dun Huda Hila Sahuda Runhuda. Bun Huk Dang Al Ai Agunara Tunhula Lesa Hia Gunara Amen. What I've just said uh, or what I've just prayed to my father because right now he's just rising the sun. So it's also meaning of, uh, you know, that in heaven, we every morning around this time, like 6.30, 6.30 we started to raise our hands, left hand into our forehead to show father our gratitudes. You know, to show Father our gratitude. And with that, Chapnel Elohim, whom you called Yahweh, or Jesus, or Holy Spirit, always have his mark then, that he is the hair. You know, while the Son of Man are in the world finishing, the uh, the work of hand, the art of Maya, the whom you called, the Messiah's days. As I've said, Messiah's also means like, you know, um, Messiah's means woman's uh, monthly, woman's monthly, uh, you know, bloody week, bloody week, bloody week. I call it melon days, you know, bloody days. Which is, we're about to talk on Matthew 21, 37. Oh, Matthew 30, 21, 38. And uh, carry on to 39. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, This is the hair. This is the hair. Or this is the hair. Hair. Call it hair. Let's kill him and take his inheritance. So they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed. This is the symbol of the time of whom you call Jesu as humans. I see from up above what they're going to, the king. When we test the earth, what they're going to do with it. As our spirit of the Godhead is always on the forehead. You know, it's always in the forehead by the, you know, the line in your, when, where you, uh, when you uh, have your uh, hair in the middle of your forehead, you, the half, you know, what you call that? Where your uh, fontanel is, where you have, uh, you know, you, you, you apart your uh, hair, you know? You parted your hair, you parted ways, your hair is also a symbol of, uh, of uh, parted seas, you know. It's also a symbol of humanity, good and evil, you know. Everything you do in yourself is there's a meaning and symbols to it. Like your head, there is a part in it. It means like, like I just said, you part your hairs, once, um, uh, two sides, you know, two sides. It means of good and evil. But when a hair is just the same on the other side, it's different thing. Depending how you, how you uh, decorate your hair or what you uh, adorn your hair, how you adorn your hair, there's a symbol into that which only I can see. You know? This, when we saw what they're going to do to the Son of God, I said to the king who was up above, it's like a telephone call, Honey, stay there. I see what they're going to do to the body of mine. They're going to shut the head. So, honey, stay there. Let me do the work. So he said, Are you sure? Is it okay? I said, Yes. As I don't want any of my beloved to be harmed or to be uh, like to feel the pain, I prepare to 
to accept all the pain rather than my loved ones to feel the pain, you know? So, uh, this is a symbol of uh, the workers of the earth, you know? Matthew 21, 38 to 39. The tenants, so the son, who is the tenants, the Nepalim, they are the tenants of the world. Why? When they ask me to make this world, you call the humans, men and female, and etc., etc., I challenge them. For they want it. So, they bury themselves into the, you know, demons could bury like when the last curse they have, like uh, one one of the time, I said in the record, in my record, that there were angels who look after the land in the beginning that um, uh, they look after the humans to, uh, to govern the land, for the land to be fruitful, you know, for the land to be fruitful. And now it's destroyed by humans, you know. There were a giant that the there were one there were giant that the angels have turned into a have turned into a stone. And with that, after that many years, the stone crumble and becomes like a landslide. You know, it becomes like a landslide, and then. Uh, when the stone was broken, the Nepalim come out from it and it is very, very big. But he, because he was a spirit, he buried himself into the land, to the seas, to the oceans, to etc., to etc., and to the trees. You know, this is the story of uh, Metozilla. You know, Metozilla. For me to... Uh, to to give me to Sila what she had done. Sacrificing. You know, me to Sila. And I was here named me. Me and her was too. For Chapnel, M-E-T. Me too. Meaning to see humans, me too. I stay here. You know, that's when he said to me, me too, I stay here. You know, you must, because his name and that is always put together. So when, uh, that is how Father humans, uh, that is how Father put me and he together. You know, as I and mom put he and him together. He and him, he and he actually, he and he. For me to become a Heye. You got it, you guys? We are the 24 elders. And with that, the demons, after he buried himself into the lands, he think he owns the lands. He poisons everyone in it. And you poison yourselves. Non covenant. So. You wanted to take the inheritance of those who in the beginning received the Holy Spirit of God. You are the one who keep throwing us out in my own vineyard. So every time I keep running to the seas, to the oceans where you bury yourselves to find out where is your root. You know, to find out where is your root. As a spirit ab mito sila. You know? And then when I find out where your root was, the one who offends is God, I say, Father, it's him. Pastors. Yes, pastors. You are the creations of the earth that was drink, eaten, and received receivers of the demons. You know, the purple, like um, uh, an ash, purple, a poison. It's like a purple thing. Very, very dark color. You know? 
from that first thing, you become him. You become that demon of Barry himself into and lift his uh, his uh, body in the inside of the nurture himself inside of the tree. Abmeto sila, you know. And then, and then until to this very end, you months you are still fighting for you want the land. You know, this is the land you want to possess. As you understand it, that it is the land, earth, that you're going to possess. You know, the land is your body that you're going to possess. The very reason why you keep killing the brothers, the very reason why you keep taking inheritance that are not of yours. What is the inheritance? Names. Names that you proclaim yourselves what you are. And into this very end, you start the transgressions as well. By what? Preaching the word of God. That is how you do it, you must. Since Abraham, you were left out from hell. You know? I made a truce that even to this very end, if you do not repent, that is your dead end. Still the same thing. You just keep repeating and repeating and repeating it as we were the hair you keep stealing things from. You are the false prophet that wanted to take the inheritance of the true prophets. You know? The true prophets is what you keep taking their inheritance. That is why you beg me in. To place you, you know, to place you in each so-called family. That in the end, you backstop them. Why? You lead them into your own abominations. You lead them into your preaching. You lead them into your worldly teachings when you are no spirits. You see, you must, it is all about you, Paul's teachers. You see, you must, you understand me just as how you read me. You know, this is the vineyard where I pay, should be, you know, where we paid for the blood of his people. For there is a landscape of the world that I like so much. You know, I like it so much. It's like uh, the land will turn into waters. The waters will turn into uh, fires. While the heaven is above. You know, it's like uh, this example. As for, me to un for you to understand me. You have a third story house. Just a third story example. Or you have seven story house or whatever you have. And then in the bottom of that is where you're open. You got it, you must? For that is what it was in the beginning. The ovens was in the middle of the seas when there were no water. Until the repelling messed up everything. Until they come descend to the world. And what they do? Worse than ever. For why, humans? Just like what you were doing now, you are in the vineyard that are killing the sons of gods, taking their inheritance. Pastors, prophets, false prophets, uh, false um, death, what you call yourselves. You know? That is the inheritance, which is a reason why I'm here. You know? A reason why I'm here as a son of God. You know? Honoring those workers that been with me throughout incarnations. No matter how much you do, you are drawn into that abominable actions of the world.
blaspheming others, slandering others, disrespecting others, just as it says. And Matthew 21:37. Last of all, my Father sent me as I come from the Father. He said, I thought they will respect you for you are a man. But even if when you were a woman, they still disrespect you. So son, be what you want to be. I trust you. The authority.